James Kaufman, World News Report today, ladies and gentlemen. Today is March 2nd, 2022, 1.30 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a very active day. So far we have had four or five C flares plus and a very strong M flare pop off with a coronal mass ejection headed towards planet Earth. Let's take a look at that right now. Hopefully you're one of my regular subscribers and you heard me yesterday say having this C baseline and these x-rays hit us constantly throughout the day is a total nightmare. And if we did have a flare, that means it must be an M or X class flare. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that this was the M class, of course, right here. Wow. Look how powerful this thing really was. Uh, I would be surprised if it was just an M3 or 4 or whatever they're going to name it. Looks like it had extreme radio absorption and there must have been a lot of radio and electronic problems in this area as this occurred. And this was at 1741 UTC time. I would call that the peak of the M flare, 1742 UTC time. So that is going to bring it to 142 Central Time here in the U.S. Only a few moments ago. And we've actually had a little flare since then. Up oh, there it is. It did show up. So we're getting actual data in from these models. Wow. I thought we might be able to see this. We're going to chase it down. We're on the 28th. The first, now we're on the second, right now, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It stops right before or right at the point that it, the flare occurs. Oh my lord, it looks like it stops at like 1740. Uh, watch the time clock here. It's the first, the second. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, it stops right as the flare would go off. Let's see if the Nassos did this uh, to us on 193 angstroms as well. The whole sun just moved. Someone must have bumped the camera. Uh, and I think they did the exact same thing. This is the 28th. And you'll see the first. You can see the time clock on the bottom. Then we're going to hit the second, and the clock seems to end right at about 1700 UTC. 1456. Yep. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like I got pretty lucky here, and we actually should be able to see that flare here. 17. I guess that's it right there. Watch the timestamp down here. It should be about right there. Yep, that was it right there. So that's going to be completely earth-facing. Boom, right there. You can uh, look at the timestamp for verification down here. That's when it happened. That's the M-flare. Uh, what sunspot is that? We can thank sunspot 2958 for that little present headed towards our planet, folks. We should see that coral mass ejection and that heavy plasma here in uh, about four days. We will keep you updated on, on that. No forecasts have changed, nothing of that sort, but it is inbound and that was earth facing. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, please subscribe. Always remember anything's possible in Bizarro World.